Hi, this is Kevin from BCH. Uh, today we're going to talk about the use of uh, ultrasonic cleaner uh, to unclog a printhead. An uh, ultrasonic cleaner works wonders in unclogging printheads, especially the printheads clogged by uh, pigment ink. The cleaner is extremely effective and very affordable. They can be found on eBay for about $30 to $100. However, there are many people saying that ultrasonic cleaner will destroy the printhead. So let's take a look at ultrasonic cleaning process more carefully. Ultrasonic cleans a surface by cavitation, which the ultrasound creates uh, microscopic bubbles. When the bubbles burst like that, then they will create a tiny vacuum. Millions and millions of these bubbles will create a cleaning force and dislodge dirt and debris from the surface of whatever we are trying to clean. This process sounds very harmless. So how could they destroy the printhead? It turns out the vibration of the process is detrimental to the thin surface, uh, thin membranes. If you have a thin membrane, it probably going to get destroyed. Therefore, although the ultrasonic cleaning is widely used in automotive, sporting, printing, marine, medical, pharmaceutical, electroplating, disc drive, engineering, and weapons, we shouldn't clean things like uh, microphones, speakers, buzzers, accelerometers, and uh, gyroscopes, and some of, some of the printheads. In fact, one way to test the power of a cleaning is called a foil test, which an ultrasonic cleaner will destroy a piece of aluminum foil in a matter of seconds. Many people are scared by the looking of the destroyed aluminum foil and conclude the process is very harmful for the printhead. Actually, the aluminum foil test is special because in addition to the physical forces of high frequency vibration and acoustic cavitation, there is also a sonochemical effect occurring that causes the molecular bond cleavage of the water molecule release powerful oxidizing hydrocyl radicals. Because of the nature of aluminum, the effect is dramatic. Actually, the ultrasonic is very safe for electronic parts as long as we know which one can be used and which one can. For printing industries, ultrasonic cleaning is widely used on printheads such as HP, Canon, Epson, Mimaki, Konica, Seiko, Nova. However, some of the printheads have thin membranes to divide in colors. Therefore, there are certain printheads that we shouldn't use the ultrasonic cleaner. When we decide if we want to try ultrasonic cleaning, we need to do plenty of research and only try on the kind of printhead that we can afford to lose. Here's an example of an ultrasonic cleaner destroy a DX7. If you don't know, DX7 is about $1,500 new and $500 used. It is clear that uh, uh, the vibration destroyed the ceiling membrane. And uh, we thank the author very much for trying that and the share the result with that. However, don't believe everything you see on the internet. For example, we'll give less weight on this information because the author didn't try it and uh, only provided some uh, speculations. Finally, we need to decide what kind of uh, ultrasound machine to use. Let's take a, a look at our plan here. If we use the following configuration, the ultrasonic force will clean the surface of the printhead. Also, if we, if we fill up the printhead with liquid, um, such as ink or otherwise, 
the vibration will knock off some of the debris inside the nozzle. Therefore, the outside cleaning is done by vibration and the cavitation. Um, cavitation, I mean bubbles. But the inside cleaning is only done by vibration. To make the bubbles inside, we want to have a smaller bubble, like in the picture B. So if a pigment is stick inside the nozzle, we can have the both sonic wave and the cavitation bubbles to dislodge it. Bubble size is determined by the ultrasonic frequency. The higher the frequency, the smaller the bubble. Uh, when we see this figure, uh, most print has size fits in the right band. Therefore, if we use a 48 kilohertz frequency, we can have the bubble small, in size, small enough to fit in the largest nozzle. To make the cavitation bubbles work for all nozzles, we'll need uh, about 75 uh, kilohertz and uh, above. However, most ultrasonic cleaners are 40 hertz, uh, 40 k hertz and below. To get a 75 k hertz and up, you'll be expected to pay at least a thousand dollars. Don't be discouraged by this information. We're talking about uh, cleaning the nozzle hole. Although the nozzle opening is tiny. It immediately connects to a large funnel. The less expensive cleaners can still do a good job on the printhead. BCH carries some high frequency cleaners. If I have money to burn, and here's a, a, a good source. So just go to BCH website, go to accessories, and uh, check the Ultra Sonia cleaner. And uh, the cheapest one is. Uh, a bit under a thousand dollars. So we're going to use a straight bolt, a uh, regular 40 kilohertz uh, cleaner. Then we need to decide how powerful we want to be. Do we want a 35 watts cleaner for $30 or 350 watts for $300? Fortunately, neither the bubble size nor the cavitation power is determined by the power of the cleaner. More powerful cleaners will have more bubbles, and thus clean the surface quicker. However, we can just get a regular small, small size uh, cleaner uh, and doing just fine. Therefore, we can choose a small cleaner. If you are choosing a larger one, then you may be overcompensating something. We're going to use a Canon cartridge PG245. This cartridge is an integrated cartridge, which means it doesn't have a membrane or foils. We modified the original cartridge and made it a spongeless refillable cartridge. If you want to know how to do that, check out the link below in the comment section. I'll mark it as a first printout, no cleaning. Uh, we use a little cleaner, uh, really cheap cleaner we bought from eBay. You always want to use a basket to suspend your printhead right on top of the bubbles. So we did a pen in the first day, then we leave it, we leave it overnight, and this second day. Okay, we did a 20 cleanings total, and uh, 90 seconds each cleaning. Let's check the result.
here's the result of five cleaning and uh, 20 cleanings. And let's zoom in and check out the really, really little details. Normally, font size 2 is the limit of the, uh, the inkjet can do. And uh, if you see the, uh, the letters on the font size 2, after 20 clean, cleanings, they look much better. Okay, I know what you guys are going to say. You guys are uh, going to say uh, the little machine we use here is too small. And you want to see the high frequency machine. Okay, you get what you wish for. I don't really like the stainless steel basket, so I bought this cookie, uh, I think it's cookie sheet or uh, some kind of a silicon pad from Joanne Fabric. My plan is to cut a hole and uh, use, use it as a floating platform. Those cartridges have a really nice angle, so I'll just sit like this so it won't rub the printhead on the uh, uh, on the stainless steel. We did uh, 20 more cleanings, 3 minutes each, so the total clean time with this is an hour. So we cleaned this printhead 40 times. Use high power, low power, high frequency, low frequency. And uh, so we conclude there's no way you can destroy the integrated cartridge with uh, ultrasonic cleaning. We're looking at things at a very small scale. Let me compare to, uh, uh, to a commercial printout on the product page. So after 40 cleanings, the letter is still very sharp. So we think uh, ultrasonic cleaning is safe for integrated cartridges. Integrated cartridge is like HP and the Canon. And they look like this, a little black square, and they have a printhead on them. OK, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe. And uh, also visit us at www.bchtechnologies.com. Have a good day. Cheers.